rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, raise our two hands to the Lord and pray for ourselves in this song. Holy Ghost, do it again, again, do it again in my life. Now to join to see if you're yeah, my own book cry while on others thou art go holy do not pass me Savior, 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 Savior 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 Am I humble cry? Am I humble cry? Oh, oh, that's now what's going on. Holy, do pass. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Am I humble cry? Am I humble cry? Oh, oh, that's now what you call. Only you not pass me by. And our Lord is a great God. Hallelujah. Great King above.
complete. Oh yes, come. Oh yes, come. Hallelujah. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh yes, complete. Go. Oh yes, oh yes, complete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send that fire. The Holy Ghost. Send that fire again. The Holy Ghost. Send the fire. Send the fire, fire again. The Holy Ghost, fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire, Holy Ghost and fire, and the cause of fire. Fire burning, fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire, fire, but our Lord God that has made the earth and the earth by thy great power. Our Lord God that has made the earth and the earth by thy strength. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Great and mighty God. Great counsel. Mighty indeed. Mighty indeed. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing too difficult. The oh, I am the, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Oh, oh. Hallelujah! Is there, is there anything to ask for? Hallelujah! Is there anything, anything, anything to ask for? Is there anything? Is there anything to ask for? Hallelujah! Is there anything, anything, anything to ask for? Hallelujah! Is there anything? Is there anything to ask for? I've been to Calvary today. I did my hands. The blood of that, hallelujah. I drink the blood of Jesus. I've been, I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My life has been. My life has been made all My life has been made all Yon, yon, yon. My life has been made all My life has been made all I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, I'm complete. Oh, yes, complete. 
Aleluya. Oye, es. Oye, es. Aleluya. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you for the garden of your people here. We thank you because you are a rock, you are a shield. There is none like unto you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered here at this meeting. Let it happen, Lord, that all those who are gathered here tonight shall receive the touch of the power of God. And I pray for anyone here that the enemy has eaten anything in their life, that the enemy is using as a ladder, a ladder to get in at night, a ladder to get in during the day. That ladder of darkness are eating in anybody's body. It is written... As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall run out of their close places. You ladder of darkness. Hear the word of the Lord. That place where you are hiding is not your habitation. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold. 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 Lose your hold, 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 lose your hold. In the name of Jesus, every handwriting of darkness that has been pushing those who are meant to be at the front to the back, you that handwriting of darkness. By the power in the blood of Jesus, we wipe you off now. Receive the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. Receive the cleansing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let your amen be loud. Receive it. Receive the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let there be silence now. While a surgery goes on. In the life of 12 persons. Things will be removed. Other things will be replaced. The surgery is starting now. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. The plantation from the covens has been shaken out. Number four. Number five. The chain upon the legs. The chains upon the hands. The chain upon the waist is broken. That's number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Ten. Eleven. Something has happened to one man over there. Something has been evacuated. From your two legs. That's number 12. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, my father. Draw me out of weakness. Into power. I want you to really pray this prayer with aggression. Can I hear the sisters shouting it? I want you to shout the word power. Sisters, go again. Brothers, let me hear you shouting it loud. Everybody now. Shout it again. Shout it again. In the name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, lay your hands upon each one here tonight. And draw your people into power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Ephesians chapter 6. The popular verse 12. This is conclusion of the message of last week. And today's message is titled 10 reasons, 10 rules, 10 weapons. 10 reasons, 10 rules, 10 weapons. That is, 10 reasons to fight, 10 rules of the fight, 10 weapons to victory. 10, 10, 10. Ephesians 6, 12. He says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Straight away, we learn that there is a battle on. And like we explained last week, there are different categories of battles that we fight. And last week we we'll explain these different categories. There are people who should fight, but if they do not do the fighting, problems follow. Perhaps you are here tonight now, and your destiny can be explained as sugarcane destiny. Sugarcane destiny. People plant the sugarcane, they wait for it to grow, then when it's at its sweetest level, it's cut off, and men just eat it. Sugarcane destiny. Perhaps the kind of battle you face makes miracles to just pass over your head. So get yourself ready tonight for a fight. What are the ten reasons to fight? The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. What are these ten reasons why we need to fight? Reason number one. You need to fight to possess your possession. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. So there is a possession that belongs to you, which probably now is not even close to where you are. Or right now is in the cage of the enemy somewhere. The first reason you need to fight is to possess that possession. Can somebody raise up his right hand and say, I shall possess my possession. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not. In the name of Jesus. Shout it three times. Second reason to fight is to enlarge your coast. Your present size is not your final size. Your present location is not your final bus stop. And enlargement is required. You need to fight to enlarge your coast. You need to fight to explode, to expand. That's the second reason to fight. Three. You need to fight to defend yourself and your territory. You fight to defend yourself. You fight to defend your territory. Because if you don't do that, the enemy will waste the person. Four. The fourth reason to fight is to recover what the enemy has stolen. To recover what the enemy has stolen. If the Lord will open your eyes deeply, you will see what the enemy has captured. 
if the Lord should open your eyes and gives you access to a coven and you see what they have stolen and captured from people you will be absolutely amazed you need to fight to recover what the enemy has stolen many things have been stolen by the enemy when people were in the womb because they steal it then so that the person does not even wake up to know that he has been robbed can you raise up your right hand and say i recover by fire everything the enemy has stolen in the name of jesus shout it three times reason why you need to fight because a lot of people come and wonder why prayer is this hard at mountain of fire it's because prayer really is the battle prayer is the battle prayer is not the preparation for the battle prayer is the battle fifth reason why you should fight is because sometimes when there is no war there is no peace sometimes when there is no war there is no peace. Sometimes when you have not completely shown the enemy the kind of stuff you are made of, they will keep harassing you. But when you grab the enemy and beat the enemy to nonsense, when they say go and fight so so and so person again, they say, I'm not going there. I can't go there. Because you have taught them a lesson. May somebody be empowered there tonight. To teach the enemy the lesson the enemy will never forget. If you are that person, let your amen be loud. Six, we fight because we have marching orders from heaven to fight. We have a marching order from heaven that we need to fight. He says, as from the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. It says, fight the good fight of faith. It's a command, an order. It's not a suggestion. Seven. The seventh reason why we need to fight is because there is no gentle way of arresting evil and wickedness. If something is evil, if something is bad, if something is wicked, there is no gentle way of controlling them. The only method is violence. That's why we need to fight. Eight. We need to fight because the enemy as a soldier has declared war on us. He's declared war on us. Jesus told us, he spoke to that demonic man, said, you get out of him, you demons. But they were looking. Jesus now said, uh, what is your name? They say, we are legion. Legion is a military terminology. So our enemy, they call themselves soldiers. So that enemy as a soldier has declared war on us, whether you like it or not. You do not have to offend anybody. You do not have to do something bad. You do not need to be wicked to others before wickedness is coming against you. I pray for somebody here. That that war declared against you by the enemy shall backfire tonight. It shall backfire. It shall backfire tonight. In the name of Jesus. Can you raise up your right hand to the heavenly and say, In every war that I shall fight, I shall be an unconquerable winner. In the name of Jesus. In every war that I shall fight, I shall be an unconquerable winner. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. In every war that I shall fight, I shall be an unconquerable winner. In 
Jesus name we pray how many things have I told you now now we need to fight because the only language the enemy understands is violence the only language the enemy understands is violence and the only thing the enemy respects is power the only language the enemy understands is violence the only thing the enemy respects is power thank god the bible says as many as believe him to them give he power to become the sons of god the bible says and he gave them power against unclean spirits and against all manners of sicknesses may you have power against the power raging against you in the name of jesus because if your enemy is stronger than you that enemy will waste you that's the truth because as a matter of necessity whenever a stronger power comes against a lesser power the lesser power must bow 10 we fight to deliver ourselves from bondage we fight to deliver ourselves from bondage those are the 10 reasons why we fight 10 reasons why we fight what are the 10 rules of the fight because you cannot engage in a fight without knowing the rules what are the 10 rules the first rule is this know your god sisters what did i say brothers what did i just say that's that's the first rule know your god that is know the awesomeness of the power of god know how powerful your god is it is important that you know your god because that's the source of your power the bible says they that know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploit if they know their god but those who do not know their god one leg in church one leg outside one day serious another day unserious one day pray for power the other thing no prayer they will not be powerful know your god take every available opportunity to know more about jesus more about god don't be a sunday sunday christian because one meal a week is not enough to feed anybody know your god that's the first rule two know your enemy it is a tragedy to be fighting an unknown enemy know your enemy learn all you can before you go into the battle everything you need to know about that enemy learn it all before you go into that battle the bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy so you must not be ignorant if you are ignorant of his devices the enemy will waste the person the devil is not as powerful as many people think but he is a legal expert he knows the law he knows the law of god he knows the laws of man he knows how he can manipulate a person to be offending god knowing that immediately you are offending god then god cannot fight for you or defend you there are plenty of us here tonight you are not a witch you are not a wizard you don't have familiar spirit you don't have magic you don't have sorcery you don't have divine divination the only thing you rely upon is your prayer and your god if you now begin to offend that god who is to defend you the enemy is able to manipulate you to offend god then they catch you easily Balaam rose up to go and curse the children of Israel. The Lord said, don't curse them. So because there is no enchantment against Jacob. So Balaam refused to curse them. But then he now taught them another trick. They pushed them into fornication and immorality. He advised to push them there. And they did. And within a day, thousands of Israelites were destroyed. That's the trick of the devil. I'm praying for somebody here that the manipulation of wickedness will not prosper in your life you will not be manipulated into god's anger 
Neither will you be manipulated to a place where heaven will close his eyes. Three rules of the fight. Third rule of the fight. Any sin in your life will strengthen the enemy against you. Any sin in your life will strengthen the devil against you. The enemy will be strong if you are living in sin. Holiness within and without is still the spiritual antidote to defeat all kinds of enemies. And that is a serious matter. We thank God for the plenty of people who are praying MFM prayers now. But plenty of them praying MFM prayer without the holiness stand is still a waste of time. Because sometimes say, oh God arise and let your enemies be scattered. If God should answer that prayer, it is the person praying that will be scattering. So any sin in your life will strengthen the enemy against you. And it's a tragedy to be coming to the mountain of fire and you are living in known sin. And you are praying our kind of prayer. You are looking for trouble indeed. Four. Know your weapons. God has given us so many weapons. You must learn and know those weapons very well. Know the weapon of the blood of Jesus. The weapon of the word of God. The weapon of the name of Jesus. The weapon of the angels of God. The weapon of fire. The weapon of sulfur. The weapon of brooms. The weapon of carpenters. Know your spiritual weapons. Five. The fifth rule. In spiritual warfare, victory goes to the hardest and the meanest. The hardest and the meanest. That's where the victory will go. It's better to do an overkill than for the thing to rise up again and begin to fight you later. That is rule number five. If I follow me, shout hallelujah. This is just putting a conclusion on the message of last week. Six. Rule number six. Utilize the hours of the night in your warfare. Utilize the hours of the night in your warfare. The midnight is an important hour. And anyone praying within 12 and 3 is doing a serious damage to the kingdom of darkness. Utilize that hour in your warfare. Because it is the hours of the night that evil decisions are taken against man. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came. When the Bible talks about destruction of the night, pestilence of the night, it's talking about those powers that operate at that time. A lot of people begin to pray after the decisions that have been taken against them in the night. I'm praying for somebody here that the decisions of the power of the night against your destiny shall backfire upon them in the name of Jesus. Rule number seven. Quench your internal walls. Quench that internal wall. That is, win the battle of your mind. The mind is an important instrument in our warfare. Once the enemy captures your mind, he has captured you. Once you allow your mind to be thinking rubbish, nonsense, and evil, the enemy has captured you. So quench your internal walls. Rule number eight. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. In Ephesians chapter 6 that we read just now, when it begins to read from verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Say, so wherefore, take on, because of that verse 12, say, so wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lungs get about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, where which you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Put on that whole armor of God. Now, follow the principle of Operation Push. 
follow the principle of operation push just pray until something happens don't give up prayer until something begins to happen and rule number 10 always attack by fire attack by fire bible said the lord our god is a consuming fire attack by fire so i've told you 10 reasons to fight i've told you 10 rules of that fight now 10 weapons or 10 prayers to bring you victory 10 weapons 10 prayers to give you victory what kind of prayer can address battles what kind of prayers can defeat defeat what kind of prayers can dismantle the plantation of the battles that are waging against man the first kind of prayer and i want to be very slow so you understand what i'm saying is prayers that demand that what ought to be must be prayers that demand that what ought to be must be even if the enemy said it must not be but you are praying that that which ought to be must be the enemy has worked hard he has changed things manipulating things but what they say will not be prayers that insist that it must be i'm praying for somebody here what the enemy says you will not become you will become it what the enemy says will not happen in your life will happen by fire the joy that the enemy says you will not have you will have it the place they say you will not get to you will get there the blessing they say you will not receive you will receive that blessing prayers that demand that what ought to be must and the person stands by that prayer until that thing begins to happen. Two, prayers that make those hired to curse you to fall after the order of Balaam. Prayers that make those hired to curse you to fall after the order of Balaam. You may not understand this, but there are people who go about day and night hiring strange powers to curse the children of God to issue curses on the children of God I decree upon somebody here every native doctor that is against you shall fold up they shall fold up they shall fold up and every diviner divining against you shall run mad in the name of Jesus prayers that make the enemy to die in your place prayers that make the enemy to die in your place they threw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego into the fire but it was those who threw them in who died they remained alive the enemy had died in their place those who threw Daniel into the lion's den. They wanted Daniel to die. But it was they who died instead of Daniel. Your enemies shall die in your place. They shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. This prayers I'm describing to you. They are not gentlemen prayers. When you are in a battlefront. And the battle wants to eat you without any remnant. You must use your most potent prayers, your most potent weapons. Four, prayers that bring down the fire of God. The kind of prayer that Elijah prayed. Say, man of God, come down. Say, me? Say, if I be a man of God, let fire come down. And fire came down. Five, prayer resulting from a combination a combination of desperate cry and holy madness prayer resulting from desperate cry and holy madness those prayers they address battles six 
prayers for permanent arrest of arresters. Permanent arrest of arresters. Those are the kind of prayers that deal with battles. Seven. Holy Ghost charged prayers that takes hold of spiritual weapons. It's Holy Ghost charged prayers that takes hold of a spiritual weapon to fight. It's Holy Ghost charge takes up a weapon to fight. You could use the anger of God as a weapon. You could use the arrows of God as a weapon. You could use the blast of God as a weapon. You could use the axis of God as a weapon. You could use the instrument of blindness as a weapon. You could use the blood of Jesus as a weapon. You could use boils as a weapon. You could use deep sleep as a weapon. You could use rod of iron as a weapon. You could use terrifying noises as a weapon. You could use the broom of destruction as a weapon. Holy Ghost charge prayer. Taking hold of a spiritual weapon. Eight. Enough is enough kind of prayers. Enough is enough. Some people call that one conclusive prayers. Concluding prayers. This enough is enough. I've had enough of these prayers. Now, prayers that swallows problems. That are swallowing prayers. Prayers that will swallow the problem forever. May somebody be empowered here tonight to pray the swallowing prayers. Ten. Prayers that scares the enemy. Prayers that scare the enemy. It's once those prayers are going on, the enemy begins to run out of their close places. Those are the 10, 10, 10 agenda. Which you should go and study very well. And now begin to construct your own prayers according to that. Bow down your heads, beloved. Wherever you are, bow down your heads. The first thing to do, say, if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now by saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said a short prayer with me, immediately we close. Just come to the front here. Now, the rest of us here, as you bow down your heads, ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will keep any battle in place in your life. Because we're about to pray some strange prayers now, and strange things will begin to happen. We're about to pray some strange prayers, and strange things will begin to happen. Talk to the Lord. Amen. Rise up on your feet now. The first three prayers I want you to pray. Anyone in this garden, if you can pray these prayers, and there is any infirmity in your body, it will melt away like the dew of the morning before the sun. Can I hear you shouting this loudly? Every madness carried against me by the enemy. Can I hear you shouting that loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire! In the name of Jesus, command your madness to backfire. Jesus. Sata Riba Poko Panda Kayabo Shante. It's up, it's up, it's up. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to be more aggressive than this. Say, Wizard Powers.
against my life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Destroy the wizard powers. Something must happen in your life here tonight. Patela katala kaya boko shantaria. Riba bonda kenteraba. Wizard powers against my life. Damn! Jesus. Jesus. Masekatenda ya boshenteraba. Riba pia le katanda raba. Yes. 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 In Jesus name we pray. That's better. Increase your aggression. Say in the name of Jesus. Can you shout it loud? Yeah. Satan! Yeah. Get deep behind me. Yeah. Can you shout that again? Yeah. Let your voice be loud. Yeah. Yeah. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, 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 ah. You satanic migraine, get out of your hiding place. You infirmity of weakness, get out of your hiding place. You strange feeling inside the body, strange pain in the waist, strange pain in the legs, get out of that hiding place. In the name of Jesus. of infirmity break now break 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 in the name of Jesus You will now declare with holy anger. Gate of oppression. Close. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and close the gate. Close. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. In 
Jesus name we pray if you are that person here tonight there were certain things you could not do before you got here begin to do so now because the arrows are going back to the senders if you cannot bend bend whatever you cannot do do it now if there is anything that is troubling your body check it out now check it under the power of God is still moving from person to person check your body very well check it very well by the stripes of Jesus receive your perfect healing now in the name of Jesus check your body now check it if you find that you have been healed quickly find a way to the altar here don't let the devil put it back Jesus is waiting for you here now the next three prayers you will shout this loud dreams of demotion is that the loudest you can shout it here tonight your voice is not loud enough Dead! in the name of Jesus Yes. Yes. Tonight is tonight. This is not a night to negotiate. We cannot negotiate. Dreams of demotion. of the motion that thou power of God in the name of Jesus move 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 Jesus name we pray now if the enemy has been battling your finances battling your staff of bread don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice now dragon power assigned against my finances Death! in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Oh yes. Tonight is tonight. Bopata kataraba. Riba panda kaya boshente. In Jesus name we pray now with a voice as loud as thunder battle of my father's heart battle of my mother's heart Death! in the name of Jesus deal with the battles Open your mouth, open your mouth. Thou power of God. Move, 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 
move, move, move, move, move, move, move, move, move, move, move. Jesus name we pray Father we cover the miracles here tonight with the blood of Jesus the hand of God shall come upon these testimonies and affliction will never rise again in your life in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something has just disappeared for somebody's body. Let that person come forward and share the testimony. Something has been planted into you. It has just vanished. Just find a way to the altar. Don't let the enemy put it back. Can you shout this again loud? Every satanic atmosphere. around my dwelling place Damn! in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray let us share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy of our Lord all the days of the Lord we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen